Uh, now, what about the, the digital twins? Uh, what are your thoughts on, on, on using uh, the digital twin technology for uh, operational intelligence? Uh -huh. Well, uh, let's start to review the cause of digital twin because uh, uh, it was a great name from the marketing point of view. <laughs> Uh, but at the same time, sometimes it puts a little more complex around a account that's pretty very simple. That's pretty much to have a model, the representation of your device, of your machine, of your instruments uh, in your computer. So the, the name Digital Twin was pretty much a copy, <laughs> a virtual copy that will emulate the behavior of your machine or of your sensor. Uh, so uh, to give a very simple example, if you have a temperature sensor that's based when you put 25 degrees, it put out 5 million pair. <laughs> and when it's at 50 degrees, it put out 15 million pair. So let's say that's the behavior of your temperature sensor. If you create a function block in your computer, a little programming block, that when you input 25, it put out 50 million pair, you create the digital twin of that sensor, okay? Yes. And when you make it grow to put the, your full instrumentation, your, your machine, there are many and many applications why having those model, it's important. And I will list all those applications. One first application is even before you start our production. Nowadays, you are planning your production line, <laughs> you can run the full simulation of that production line using the digital twins. That's the first basic application. The second one that's more typical for operational intelligence, as you did mention, is you put the proper sensors so you can compare what the line is doing with your models. <laughs> So you run side by side the line and the model. Yes. Getting some data from the line. And we, you, you have a full uh, circle there because in one side, it helps you to refine your model. In the other side, this refined model can fit back for the line and detect some anomalies. <laughs> when an equipment's not working properly, when the efficiency is doing. And so that process is also a learning process by itself because sometimes you find out the model was not precise and you refine the model. Yes. Sometimes, oh yes, the model was precise. There was a problem in the line. <laughs> so that's a continuous process, but over time as the models become and the digital twins, the representation, they become more reliable. Yes. You really, over time, the gain starts to increase because you're going to have better models, better digital twins, and you are able much more to allow the model give information about the line, you not the opposite. So you need to prepare to have some investments on that. It's not sometimes in the first week you have the benefits because you need to do the validation of your models. Uh, okay, yeah. And that can happen quickly. That may need longer time. <laughs> but in some points, uh, the digital representation of the device will be good enough that you'll be able to find out potential issues on the line from your digital twins. And when you reach that phase, you can go to the next one and the final benefits. That's when we start to planning modifications of products, supplies, machinery, using the digital model. 
So after you have your model is stable, that's all right, giving feedback or potential problem in the line. Now we have also the benefits to use that as a planning tool. If you want to modify some process, to modify some machinery, to modify some material you are using, <laughs> uh, you can do that validation with the digital twins before deploying. Oh, okay, interesting. That's, that's very yeah. interesting. Okay, so now... And you see it. Go ahead. Sure, sure, go ahead, go ahead. Because I was about to... No, I'm just to... saying that, again, everything's starting to have a good real-time monitoring of the process. Because to, to be able to find it done, those, those digital things, you need to have your real-time data acquisition in place. Oh, okay. That's go back to that basic that I was explaining to you. Oh, yes, yes. So yes. to leverage the digital twins, you also need to have that real-time data acquisition in place, first of all. 